Okay. So those are two trails that we hacked through. And now going this way, you see that arrow there. That's another site, a trail going into another... Um, I'm not sure the biggest one is we call it the Boss Kahuna. I think that's one of those trails over there. It's a huge site. And then if you go down and turn, make a left and walk down a little ways, you'll see another arrow, and that's the final and last access point to one of these sites. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five sites in all. All right, and so how you want to organize uh, is, is... We're going to work all on one site. So we'll have okay. teams of 12 to 15 on one site. So I think okay. we have enough to start. All right. So then why don't you uh, take over with the safety uh, measures? Okay. okay. So we don't want people moving through the woods on their own. <laughs> so, th so we're working together. So don't go wandering off into the woods, partially because um, there's broken, there's rusty tin cans and there's all sorts of things that we want to be sure that people are being conscious of. It's a wild place. Plus there are wild animals that aren't used to having all these humans around. So we want to stay contained, as contained as we can. So we'll start on one site and you can choose that, maybe the big site. I can't, Andy, which one is the Boscohuna site? Um, we, um, we're going to have to Yeah, I think it might be the first arrow. Well, maybe go find it if you need to, and I'll just finish. So the safety, the safety protocols are, there are a lot of needles, fewer than there were, but there's still, those are the danger things. There's rusted tin cans. We're not moving tents. You'll see that the, the area is blanketed with tents, and those are likely to be a lot of needles in them, so we're not going to move those. We've just removed sharp... Uh, that are, uh, you know, sort of visible. And if you come across sharps, um, there will be whistles around in every group. Um, blow the whistle and Anne and Catherine will come with sharps containers and tongs and, and dispose of them. Sharps you will find in plastic bags, we found out. Mostly, you'll, they have that orange, there's a telltale orange uh, tag on them. Um, but they're often accumulated in plastic bags. So if you see a plastic bag on the ground and you think, oh, I'm just going to grab that um, and throw it in your bag, pick it up by the edge and empty it out, make sure that, and then blow the whistle or get somebody to blow the whistle, and then we'll pick up the sharps and then it'll be fine. Um, the other details are it'll feel like we're just picking up the surface stuff, and that's what we're doing. It's all going in green up bags. The city won't collect anything but the green up bags and they don't want us to move tents. So that is, we'll, we're going to have to leave a lot of stuff, but there is, there are some big things that Melanie's been pulling out tarps for, big plastic containers that can be brought out that won't fit in bags, um, broken chairs, broken tables, the, you know, the broken people's broken up lives are, are in there. So, um, can I interrupt just for just a second? Just be super careful. Yeah, uh, regarding the, the tarps, um, the, th the three tarps that you see there, they're labeled with signs. One is for a scrap metal, one is for the uh, stuff that will go in the, um, the green bags, that's the garbage trash, and then there are uh, uh, clear plastic bags where you can put uh, refund or aluminums, aluminum cans, because aluminum is recyclable. Uh, but when you go, if you find cans, aluminum cans, um, if you cannot empty them out, don't be, they become trash in the green bag? They have to be empty. Okay. Don't empty them. Oh, Just don't empty them. Make them trash. Okay. They don't want. We don't want to be. Or bottles that are capped and partially full. Don't empty them. They become trash. But if there's a can that's op open but has some juice in it, you just put it in the trash bag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and everything else will go. If only aluminum is recycled, is is re, uh, that are we collecting separately? That's all that they'll pick up. Yeah, that, yeah. If, if, there's, if there are uh, recyclable cans, uh, they can be separated out into the clear plastic. Okay. Actually, we have a place, place for them over there. And there's a sign. And re, you mean like refundable? Or recyclable. So, 
refundable if, if they're going to go to well, I, we don't want to make it complicated so we're not emptying cans or or bottles we're just throwing them in the trash if they have something in them um, aluminum will get recycled glass we're not doing glass because they're not recycling it so that's trash Well, it'll probably mostly be solidified, so I wouldn't, I, you know, if it just easily pours out. You know, but the, the thing that you do where you take a jar, a bottle, and you shake it like that, there's going to be people moving around, and we don't want that. We, so that's why don't open up in a bottle and shake it out. You know, we just don't want the vapors of it <laughs> vaporizing. And I think that's everything, right? Try to get people to sign in. People are signing in. There's a waiver here, plenty of them. Um, Where'd the tongs go? Yeah, where the, the tongs go? Where did the tongs go? Where did the tongs go? I think Anne and Catherine have the tongs. No, I don't. No? Um, blow the whistle and, and somebody will come pick them up. Where did they go to? Maybe uh, they were there somewhere. They were around. Anyway, they'll turn up. So that's. And there is this, there is this here. And there's a grabber. Hi, Cheryl. You made it. All right. So I think that's, so, so Greg and Andy, go take this group and get started. If you have signed in, then stay together as a group. Sign your waiver. Make sure you have gloves. Yeah. Grab some pla green plastic. Everybody green plastic. One. Uh, we have um, yeah, safety glasses yeah, right. too, right? Where are those? Yeah, yeah there are safety glasses. Oh, safety glasses. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I'm good.